Today I'm going to share how you would seam up a hat that was knit flat using the mattress stitch. So I'm going to start with this long yarn tail that I left at from my cast on. You could also use a long yarn tail from when you bound off or just a separate piece of yarn. You're going to thread your darning needle or yarn needle with it. I use the clover chibi needles with the bent tip. I prefer those. Okay, now you're going to, and oh, and I should mention that you'll want about at least double the length in yarn and maybe a little extra to weave in. I have more than that because that's just how much I had left over uh, when I cast on with my long tail cast on. Okay, you're going to start with the right sides facing out so the wrong sides together and you're going to take your needle and insert it on one side of the fabric and then on the other side and on the edge of each knit row you will see kind of a V. I prefer to put it on the outer edge of the V on both sides so in other words the center edges of the V do not have the needle in them. So you're going to start going from close to you to away from you and you're going to pull the yarn through and then you're going to go the opposite way on the way back. You're going to put the needle from the outside pointing towards you and pull through. Now you're going to repeat those two steps all the way across. So from the inside going away from you and then from the outside moving toward you. This creates a nearly invisible seam, uh, especially with a yarn like this that's variegated, or actually I should say it's a self-striping yarn, so it has a lot of different colors. It's definitely not going to be noticeable. So again, you're going to start from the outer loop that's closest to you on the next stitch, and then go on the outer loop that's furthest from you on the opposite side of the piece on the same stitch, kind of lining them up. And then you'll go to the outer loop that's furthest from you on the opposite piece, lined up to the outer loop that's closest to you on the piece nearest you. And you're going to repeat that alternating process all the way across till the end of what you're trying to seam. The magic of editing. I trimmed my yarn a bit because it was getting unwieldy. Now for the cables, be sure that you are not just uh, seaming the back of the cable closed if you have a cable project, but that you're actually lining it up to the next outer edge stitch. So that's something to be mindful of if you are working with cables. Okay, now I've seamed up the entire edge and I'm just really at the top of the hat uh, or at the end of your row or whatever project that you're seaming. And so now you're going to want to weave in the end on this yarn tail and that's why you need a little bit extra. So I'm just going to insert the needle on the inside of the hat and then I'm going to weave in ends on the inside and then trim off the yarn tail. And that's how you do a mattress stitch seam. And you can see that the seam is nearly invisible up the edge of the hat. So it's a great way to seam up a project if you don't want a very visible seam. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to follow, like, and subscribe on whatever platform you're watching this video on. Have a great day.